Yeah, and today I'm trying out a new technique and I created this chevron paper even though it's not perfect but with some layering and um, other embellishments it'll be it'll look great one other thing is I bought all these these are the letterpress um, um, plates that I got some time ago at Hobby Lobby I love these plates they're very nice um, and I got them for on a discount so that's why I got them for like a dollar or two um, the whole plate because either they were missing the box were opened and they were missing some of the elements but um, like it was missing the adhesive or it was missing the ink or whatnot so that's why I went ahead and bought them because I thought I can use them now I used it so I'm using the chevron I really like this chevron shape and I wish I had a stamp and I think I might this um, I saw an episode of the frugal, cra Fru frugal crafter and she actually made stamps out of some bendy clay so I'm gonna try that and create a stamp with this chevron because I really like the chevron um, but I'm just gonna show you how I create it on this paper now I tried it so I inked, as you can see, it's very faded there. I inked the plate with some um, stamping up. And then I pressed it. And it didn't really work as well as I was hoping. I did get this letterpress ink. It's a lot thicker ink. It, it's very hard to, um, to take off. You really need to use um, minimal. I'm using like a mineral oil or mineral spirits to take it off because it really it's like oil paint so you have to use the same thing you 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 can take off oil paint in order to take off this paint so I'm going to show you the first technique using that um, and making your paper so I'm using this shimmer stack by die cut with a view I'm also using a cushion so this cushion is from this um, slice and now the reason why I have this paper on it because it has adhesive so um, I just don't want to get the adhesive dirty so I have this slice 12 by 12 that I bought on when it was on clearance in Hobby Lobby and behind it it does have a, a cushion so it's great for stamping so I'm going to use this and then you're going to use some kind of um, I try to use the brayer but it didn't work as well so you need something like this um, you know roller and this one is going to be my craft roller because as you can see I got ink on it so I cannot use it for the kitchen anymore but it's perfect because then you can put your whole weight and roll out the image because I do not have a letterpress and I don't think they, have, they make a letterpress 12 by 12 as big as this um, paper so let me go ahead and move the camera up so you can see what I'm doing okay so I have an acrylic block that I'm going to use for this for my for my um, letterpress ink and you put just a little bit on it and then close this up because this is this is really messy stuff then you take a brayer, and I bought this brayer just for my letterpress inking, and also for inking in general. I wanted a small little brayer. So now that you have your your, your brayer nice and ink, let me move this aside. You take your plate, and you really um, ink it up very well you see here and this stuff gets all over the place so you really need to have your surface protected does not come off as easily you really need to use um, mineral spirits and anything that would take oil paint that's what you need to use to take this thing off so now that I have it I'm gonna go ahead and lay it once I lay it down don't move it because then you'll ha it will happen I moved it a little bit here and as you can see my lines got a little smudge but that's okay 
And by the way, it takes a while to um, dry, so don't touch it. That one I've been touching it, and that's why it's kind of smear. But again, it's perfect for layering. So I'm going to move this aside because I don't want to get that ink all over my place. And then use your weight and just roll it. And I see, and roll it back. And see, there you have it. So you keep stamping until you fill up your page with the chevron. Like I see there, making sure you match up one chevron with the other. So it'll smear it. And I'm just going to put a little bit there. So there's my paper. It's a little smear there, a little smear there, but it still looks okay. Um, just let it, put it aside to dry. And then it'll look real nice cut out and you can put it in the background. It just, it's like a distressing. If you want a perfect stamp image, it's not going to work. Okay, so the next technique I'm going to show you is by using paint. The first one I showed you how you use a letterpress ink to create um, your pattern. We're going to use the same template um, plate, but you can also use embossing folders or anything else for this technique. We're going to take some paint and maybe I want to use some red. I'm going to take some red paint. And um, this is a um, wax paper. I'm going to put apply a pretty good amount of paint on my surface. And I'm going to spread that paint out. So I think I'm done. Now I'm going to take my plate and I'm going to lay it down. And then lift. Take my next, lay it down. And lift. And let me clean it. So let me lay it down again. And what I want to do is lift the paint with my plate. Paint your plate in between. Clean your plate in between. Lay it down. And lift. And it doesn't look much. But now you're going to take a piece of, and I'm going to use this tech, the texture side texture side and I'm going to lay it down and then just smooth it out and I left a branding strip or the just so that I can lift it from there And there you have it. So I will let it dry and see so you can cut a little smaller piece and use it for your layout. So let me go ahead and create another one. So this time I'm going to add some other colors. Maybe a little bit of this peach. And let me use a brush. So I'm going to spit my brush. I'm going to use a brush will be, I think, a little better than that brayer. Yeah, brush works a lot better for this technique. Okay. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and use the same plate because I just love chevrons. Place that down. Lift it up. Clean your plate off. Place it down. Lift it up. So now, this time I'm going to use the smooth side of my paper. And I'll lay it down. Okay, just lift it up. So, this is how um, the paper will look. And I will show you a layout using this paper. I couldn't really see the chevron, they were kind of faint. So then I, what I decided to use was some acrylic paint and this is burnt amber, amber, amber I think it is. And I'm just smearing some of that on my plate and then I'm stamping it down. And I have a cushion on the bottom of my paper. So once you get a good even coverage of your acrylic paint, you just stamp on the paper like you see here. So that's another technique that you can use is just using some acrylic paint and using your plates to stamp on. Now you're not gonna get a perfect impression, but it does look good. The last technique I'm showing you is I'm using embossing powder and what happened is I went grocery shopping and when I came back, it still was wet. That ink did not want to dry. It, it has to be oil-based. So I just put some embossing powder and that did the trick. It dried it up pretty nicely. Okay, so here, using these papers. Now, I did not use this paper because the color that I chose for, for this, the color that I chose to create this paper does not really go with the other two colors. So I wanted to show you a layout of how you can use these papers once you create it. Um, so let me show you my layout. So here is my layout. And the best thing to do when you are using kind of these kind of background paper is when you cut them apart, use a neutral color background, like this neutral color of cardstock, because that way your paper will kind of um, be the showcase of the page. If you use a busy background, you really don't see the background paper that you created as well. But it's up to you. You can use a busier um, background. I tend to like to stick with neutrals when I do create my own kind of paper. So this is the layout that I'm going to create. I already started creating some of my cluster. Now this is a picture of my son when he was around five or actually when he was around six and this stamp that says days like this make me smile this is from Technique Tuesday and actually is the um, Ellie Edwards stamp and then I put a little another stamp that says life little moments and this one was on the dollar bin a long time ago at Michael's and then also celebrate this life it's part of that Ellie Edwards um, phrase stamp this paper that you see here is part from a paper pad die cut with a view and I'm not sure which uh, paper pad it's from usually what I like to do is actually this is from Kane Company I take that back this is the Kane Company papers and it's a vintage paper that they had that I bought like five years ago and what I like to do is cut out some of the element sheets of that paper and I, I put them in a little bin like you see here and I also have a bin like this bin is full with um, stuff that I create like these hearts I created there's a tutorial that I show you how I created this heart and then I have some crochet flowers so I kind of put all my extra cut pieces in here like you see here and then I use it 
as elements for pages. So this is part of that. So that's why once I cut it out, I don't know where it came from. I, I'm sure it's from OK and Company, but I'm not sure which paper pad. So, um, but it's, you know, it's, it's from a paper pad. And then this one actually, this little element that you see here is from the her, 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 Heirloom um, album that I'm using to create my, um, er, my Heirloom, um, my Heritage album. So it's from Die Cut With A View. So this is from Die Cut With A View. I am going to use this, it's not a washi tape, it's kind of like a printed tape. And I got this tape at Michael's. Um, it came with a set of three and it's from Recollections. And I think it's, it's a while back. It's not a new kind of paper tape. Um, and it's not paper tape, it's actually just um, a tape, a printed tape. So I'm going to put that here. So let me go ahead and get started. I'm going to outline all my pieces. Here I'm just outlining my pieces and I'm using a piece of scratch paper underneath so I don't get the ink all over my um, table. And I, I learned this technique from Tracy at Mercy, Mercy Tiara channel and she likes to do this technique a lot with her layers. So now I'm just putting some glimmer misting and I'm also using a stamp. I showed you quickly a stamp by Dollar, Donna Salazar and it's a chicken wire stamp. And since I covered it up with my paper, that's why I, I kind of re-stamped the bottom piece of that paper. So now I'm just putting my layers and I'm using some glue to adhere that to the top and outlining my arrow. So here's the tape. So because I put that tape on one area, I felt like I needed to repeat that same tape down on the opposite corner of my layout. But I didn't use I didn't put anything else, no more no other clusters there. I just put the tape. And there I'm just slowly showing you the final layout. So I hope you liked the tutorial and I I helped you and I inspired you and thank you for watching. Bye now.